Today, the state public health lab starts testing for the coronavirus. Up until now, only the Atlanta-based Centers for Disease Control and Prevention was testing and confirming whether a patient actually has the virus. CBS 46's Megan Packer live outside the Georgia Department of Public Health right now with more on what we can expect to see today. And Megan, this could be a really big day for helping find out about more cases. Oh, absolutely, Karen. So many people have been waiting for this. The CDC has been sending out thousands of test kits to public health departments. And today is the day we've learned that the Georgia Department of Public Health will start testing as needed and as requested. The request will still take a coordinated effort between local doctors and uh, the Georgia Department of Public Health. So far, it's been mostly up to the local doctors to determine if a patient needs to be tested, and then those tests would be sent to the CDC. But now that the state lab can perform the test. It will reduce some of the CDC's very busy workload. CDC um, has sent test kits out to states and those test kits are being used right now by many state health departments. Because of the FDA regulations, those are still considered presumptive positive until there's a confirmatory test at CDC. But those are actionable results. That is, the state and local health departments are using those to make public health decisions. We've also learned that the CDC is expanding its criteria for whether a person should be tested for the coronavirus. President Trump is planning a visit to Atlanta tomorrow for a visit to the CDC. We'll bring you details about that as we learn more.